Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a detailed pre-softening video. A lot of people saw like the small clip that I did. I want to give you like more detailed information. I'm gonna be using a 20 volume uh, developer to pre-soften. When I speak of pre-softening, that is something that you learn in cosmetology school. What it does is it's going to open up the cuticle so that once you do like the coloring or whatever it is that you're putting on after you pre-soften it, it's gonna break the barrier so that whatever you put on after that it will take it you know very well like with coloring it's going to be able to lift it much faster because if you notice a lot of people do have a hard time lifting hair or lifting the knots and I spoke of that on other videos where the vendors have placed this hair in you know barrels of henna or other hair coloring and it's hard to lift it after that depending on how long they left it in there all right, so we're just gonna go ahead and take our 20 volume. I'm gonna put a little bit right over in here. I'm gonna take my brush. You can use a brush. I think the brush is probably gonna be easier for this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place this 20 volume underneath, spreading it out all over. Okay, so once you get finished with that, I'm gonna take a towel, I'm gonna stuff it because I don't wanna leave it like sitting like this because it the, the product is gonna get on the hair if I do. So we wanna roll this around just like I've done in my other videos where I showed you my customizing. We wanna roll it around so that gravity doesn't take control and get the product or the developer all over the hair. Okay, so now we're gonna rinse it out. What I did was I parted it. I'm not trying to wet up this whole wig. I'm just going to rinse out this part right here. All right, so once you rinse it out, you don't have to dry, but if you wanna dry it, you can. I'm not about to dry it. My main thing is to make sure that I towel dry this for the most part so that, you know, my when I put the bleach on here, it's not getting all, you know, soggy and then wetting up the hair. So, towel dry. If you want to blow dry it, you can. All right, so you guys got me hanging out at Sally's. I got this. I haven't used this in years. The last time I used it, I've always felt like a lot of the products that you can get, you know, in some of the... Uh, um, beauty supply stores weren't as either potent enough or either they were not you know pulling out all of the reddish tones or brassy tones as they should I'm gonna go ahead and mix this entire pack up guys I don't know if you guys watched my um video already I have an entire customizing video of some of my pr my favorite products that I like to use okay let's go ahead and put this entire pack in here and the same way I've done my other video uh, where I did the customizing, I want to make it into a paste. We never want to use anything metal to mix it with. That's going to make the bleach react. It's going to heat up and change, you know, um, our processing time. You never want to apply using any metal because, as I said, it will affect the bleach. So... I'll either use my spatula to mix it or either this is one of my favorite tools as well. It is a wooden spoon spatula, so it'll go on and glide easy. Use 30 volume. And when I mix it, I'm going to mix it so that it is thick. So I'll just do a little bit. I mix it to sight by sight, so I'll do a little bit at a time until it's the consistency that I want it to be. Whenever you're doing working with a blue base, blue is going to cancel out red tones, guys, if you don't already know that. That's why you'll find some of your bleach, you know, um, color treated. It really helps with that but to me this is giving off a purple blue which is good too 
I like for mine to be rather thick. I like for it to be so thick that you can turn this over and nothing comes out. Almost like a toothpaste. On that application, you can even use like a plastic uh, knife. Like just stay away from metals. This here is my favorite. The knots in the back are bigger, so if you could just apply there first, a lot of times that helps. So if you notice here, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see. Start in the back first because those knots are bigger. Try not to push. Now, depending on how big those knots are, sometimes you could just let this process and then maybe like 10 minutes and then come back and then process the front. But to me, pretty much all of the knots were kind of big to me. Now that it's on there, you can either line this with aluminum foil or plastic because now our processing time is gonna be even when we're applying metal to bleach. Okay, so this would be an okay time to do so. Once you do that, do not leave it like that. You wanna go ahead and take a towel and you want to roll it in the inside, take this wig or frontal. If, if, if you have a frontal, you could just lay it, lay it flat. But from this point right here, what we wanna do is we want to lay it like so because we don't want it to over bleach the actual hairs, okay? Because it's gonna oxidize and rise. You've probably seen that happen before, almost like yeast does, or like when you're cooking uh, biscuits. It's gonna rise. So we don't want that to rise up and go get on the hair. So we wanna be really neat when we're working with the bleach. So a lot of people are always asking, how long do you allow it to sit? It's going to vary from vendor to vendor, as I explained earlier, things that they do to it prior to you getting it. Okay, so you can see here the knots are brown and we can go ahead and rinse it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Joyco Purple Shampoo. It will kinda help some of the, you know, redness come out. Either way it go, I'm gonna need to shampoo it. You could use a neutralizer, that will also, it won't help with um, the actual shedding or anything like that, but it will, you know, strengthen the hair itself. Okay, so this is what it looks like after that. Like you could let it sit, but sometimes if you let the purple shampoo sit too long, it could turn your lace purple as well. So I just shampooed it with it to bring the actual pH down and now I'm going to tone it. I'm gonna to use the 8N 
A, volcanic. I'm going to use my Shazy Q processing solution and I'm going to go in with the Shazy Q clear because I know that that ANA will kind of move really fast when it processes. But I want something that's going to remove as much of the red tones as possible and this will get it. If you feel like the ANA is too, um, you know, moving too fast, you can also try a, a, a 9NA and that works just as well if the, depending on how light those uh, knots are. The Shazy Q is really aggressive when you apply it. I usually put mine underneath and I'll go on top like in the front as well. So you want to make sure you saturate it really well. Now another question that comes up is can you get it on the actual hair? It's not going to turn this black hair. It's not a um uh, uh, actual uh, permanent hair color it's a deposit only so it's not going to lift and lighten the hair it's only going to deposit color Okay, so as you can see here, it's already pulling some of that red out. I would say let it process from anywhere from four to five minutes, but don't just let it process and walk away. You really have to keep your eyes on, you know, when you're working with bleach, when you're working with coloring, like don't just walk away and go wash the dishes. Keep your eyes on your product. All right, so if you feel like it's moving too fast, you can go ahead and wet it some. You see it sudded up here. I actually wet it a little and now I can let it finish processing. Okay, so now it's ready to be rinsed. I'm gonna go ahead and thoroughly rinse it out. I'm not gonna shampoo after this. I've already shampooed it. From this point on, I'm going to condition it. Look at that, it toned it very well. Okay, so from this part right here, I'm gonna tweeze it, guys. I'm not gonna do a whole tweezing tutorial. I'll do a separate video for that. Okay guys, so now that the unit is all ready to go, I thought I was about to put this unit on. First of all, let me go over something with you real quick because I do get a lot of comments of people asking, you know, hey, where did you get the hair from? Why don't you tag the hair company? A lot of times I find different issues or things that I may find that you may find issue with. So sometimes I just don't want to tag them if I feel like it may be an issue. So I'm measuring my head and I am a 21 circumference. That is a small, okay? So when we got the unit, it was supposed to be between a 21 and a 22. And the actual unit runs really small. And I'll show you what I mean. So this is another thing too, guys. Like a lot of people don't realize their units slide back when they have to tug on it. I said this before on other videos, but if I lay this right here, this is an, a good spot for me to, you know, put that unit. But then when I come around here, it does not come forward. 
and this was supposed to be a medium cap which bit would have been a 22 sometimes i'll get my units big if i do order a factory wig but this one right here, the fit is off. So sometimes if you feel yourself having to pull your unit on either side and you're gluing it, your wig is going to slide back. So I'm not gonna be able to put this unit on. However, let's take a look at it. <clears throat> it did really good far as you need uh, pre-softening it. I had a unit from this company before. I had a hard time bleaching it as well. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to attach this unit, but I'm going to have to find somebody who is probably like a 19 or a 20. I'm going to color the hair. And I know you guys are like, well, where did you get the hair from? You know, I'll do that in the, in the video where I do the application. I'll put it on. But if I ever tag anyone, guys, you are buying at your own risk. You know, moving forward, because I do get a lot of people who ask me to just tag. We want to know. I'm going to tell you guys this. Any great hairstylist or hairstylist that knows, you know, what they're doing, they can make anything look good. Okay, guys? So, sometimes I just don't feel comfortable tagging people or companies if I don't feel like the hair is good. But what I'll do is I'll just put a disclaimer and just say, hey, you know, buy at your own risk. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below.